everyone, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming. Some of you know me on Twitter, the Gaming da the Gaming Dragon, the Gaming Dagon, <laughs> the Gaming Dragon, the Gaming Dagon. No, I am not an Elder God. <laughs> anyway, guys, welcome back to another episode of After Class. Good to have you with us. Uh, so today we're going to be continuing along Lars's path. Oh, I love this opening. It's so nice. Production values. They're wonderful. But anyway, guys, please sit back and enjoy. I'm going to change you for the next 20 minutes, and let's jump right into it, shall we? All right, <clears throat> let's go. Thanks for treating me to dinner, Henry. I owe you. No, nah, don't worry about it. Really, I enjoy the company. Okay, anyway, you're always welcome here. Good to know. I'll try to visit you whenever I can. All right, thanks. You're welcome. I'm going to go home now. Goodbye. You're ready to leave, but Lars stopped you. Actually, I'll walk you home. I feel bad letting you walk alone. Uh, huh? I'll walk you home. Uh, okay, you don't have to do that, though. I want to. Let's go. Uh, uh, okay. You let out a relieved sigh. You were actually a little bit scared to walk alone because you weren't used to the place yet. You couldn't help but feel happy that he wanted to walk we walk with you. Ooh. I mean, it looks very nice at night. So, Lars. What is it? What do you do for a living? Hmm. He didn't answer and kept looking forward. Nothing? You just camp out there? Interesting. Are you actually one of those these internet stars? You push pictures of you camping and gain money from it? <laughs> he looked at you, jaw dropped. A few moments later, he closed his mouth and was ready to say something. But he didn't. He put his paw on his forehead and shook his head instead. <sighs> um, did I say something weird? No, it's not important. We'll just get you home. Yeah. And here we are. Thanks for walking with me, Lars. Don't mention it. I'm going back to camp now. Okay, stay safe. I'll see you tomorrow. Huh? Uh, oh, okay. See you tomorrow. You entered your house while Lars headed to the gate. You locked the door and headed to, and headed to the living room. You looked around. There was no one but you and these boxes lying on the floor. It was lively when Lars visited earlier. Now the living room was back to the way it was. Feeling tired, you headed to your room immediately. Huh, <sighs> I'm tired. You were so tired you just sunk yourself into your bed as soon as you reached it. You looked at the ceiling thinking about Lars. <sighs> what does he do, really? I'm curious, but he wouldn't tell me. Did he just camp out there for no reason? Or was I the one who just assumed he camps there? But he told me that he was camping. Hmm. Now I doubt myself. I guess I'll ask him tomorrow. You closed your eyes, ready to go to sleep. Hmm? Hmm? Right. I haven't showered nor cleaned my teeth. <laughs> you opened your eyes and got off the bed to go to the bathroom. Why can't you do that in the morning? Like you're already laying down. I just skip shower tonight and just clean my teeth. You entered the bathroom, washed your face, and cleaned your teeth. After you were done, you turned off the lights and headed to your room. <laughs> Once again, you sunk, you sunk yourself into your bed and you were ready for to sleep. You closed your eyes, drifting into sleep slowly. Uh-oh, you gonna have a sexy dream? Oh, okay, this is different. Ow! Hey, are you okay? I I'm fine. Hmm, your arm is bleeding, though. Wait a minute. Let me find something to treat it. Who is this? All right, that should do it. Thanks. How did you get hurt? I just tripped. <laughs> Be careful next time. I will. Good. What are you doing here? I'm just passing by. Huh? Y you live near here? Yeah. I've never seen you before. Well, uh, I have to go. See you later. Oh, okay. Thanks for helping me. It's no problem. Um, what's your name? My name? My name is... Huh... Did you perhaps know this man and your pre know this man earlier in your life? Huh. Camping, huh? I couldn't tell whether he was serious or not. I guess I'll let him know when I have the chance. He scratched his head and kept walking. Oh well, meanwhile, I'll just play it cool. I wonder how I can get food tomorrow. I'll just find a way, like usual. <laughs> Find a way, like usual. Okay. Day four. Alright. How many days are there? Is it a week? I'd love to know how much content there is. The alarms the alarm you set last night just went off. 
You moved your hand around, trying to find your phone. After a few seconds, you finally got the phone. Still half awake, you opened your eyes, turning off the alarm. You looked at the time. It was still early. Hmm, that was a real yawn. Perfectly timed. Still early, like I expected, but I should wake up. I don't want to oversleep. It's like that post I read the other day. The most dangerous game is resting your eyes after you turned off the alarm clock in the morning. Yeah, no fucking kidding. Tell me about it. You got up and stretched your body, then headed to the bathroom to shower. You took a warm shower, brushed your teeth, and did whatever you needed to do. When you were done, you headed to your room to get dressed. Since it was still early, you decided to eat breakfast. There's nothing too exciting inside the fridge. You grabbed whatever you could eat and made breakfast from these ingredients. After you ate breakfast, you grabbed your bag and headed to the school. I wonder if Lars is here. It's still early anyway, so I won't be late to class. Curious, you headed to the campsite. You saw Lars cleaning himself near the river. You wanted to go there, but you didn't want to make it awkward. Not after yesterday's accident. He left the tent open, though. You wondered if it's okay to go inside the tent or not. I want to go inside. I'm curious about what he brings with him. Come on, man, don't be that damn snoopy. Your eyes kept looking at his tent. I suppose not. He said I can go here whenever I want, not enter the tent whenever I want. I guess I'll just wait here until he's finished cleaning up. Ah, look at that buff boy. Lars walked toward the tent. As he walked toward it, your eyes met with his. Not sure what to do, he you hid near the bushes. Why am I hiding? He stood there for a bit, saying nothing. You saw his ears twitching, then he turned his back, staring at the bushes. Uh, I'm not sure why you're hiding. Our eyes literally met earlier. Embarrassed, you walked out of the bush. <laughs> Me neither. I just felt like I invaded your privacy. Hmm. Okay. He entered the tent to put his dirty clothes away. He walked out wearing his new clothes. Which has the same pattern as his usual clothes. He peeked inside. It seemed like they were the same pair of clothes. Huh. He stabbed his fingers in front of your eyes. Done looking around? No, that's not it. What are you doing here? I didn't expect you to come here that fast. I'm just passing by. I, I thought it's still early, so I figured I'd stop by and say hi. Hmm. Okay. Say, did you sleep well? I did. That's good. <laughs> uh, I don't know what to talk about. How about you? Y yes. Did you sleep well? I had a weird dream, but I did. Oh? Mind telling me? Yeah, it was about... You're going to tell him, but you forgot what your dream was. I... forgot. Ugh, that's too bad. Another time, then. You sat there for a bit and chatted with Lars. <laughs> ah, I should get going now. Already? Yeah, I have classes today. Hmm, okay. I'll come back later if you don't mind. Ah, uh, about that. I won't be here later. I'll be in the park. Oh, okay, then I'll stop by later if you don't mind. Alright. Well, see you later. Walk safe. Ah, he smiled. It's nice to see that boy smile. Will do. He left Lars's camp and headed to the school. Let's see. Thursday's Mr. Parker's class. To his class I go, then. <laughs> As you walked into the classroom, you saw Mr. Parker sitting in his chair, looking at the paper in his hand. He noticed you walked in, so he put the paper on his desk. Good morning, Henry. Mr. Parker! How are you feeling today? I feel fine. How about you? That's good. I'm alright. I'm alright. What are you doing? You seem troubled. If he's grading papers, he probably has a lot to be worried about. Um, uh, <clears throat> just the usual stuff. No worries. Being a teacher can be so stressful, you know. I wouldn't know. Anyway, would you like to go to the cafeteria with me later? I skipped breakfast, and I'd enjoy the company. Ah, I'll think about it. Good, I'll be waiting in the cafeteria after school. Don't worry if you can't make it. Okay. Oh! Ah, I... Oh, I gotta answer this phone. Excuse me for a bit. It's okay, I'll go sit down. With Mr. Parker answering the phone call, you headed to your seat and waited for a class to start. You sat down, put your bag down, and played with your phone. Soon after, Mark came into the classroom and sat next to you. Yo! Huh? Mark? That's me! You're not, you're not late today, huh? That's good. <laughs> Kidding! You come to class today. That's good. He put on an innocent face as if he didn't understand what you said to him. Well, what do you mean? Nothing. <laughs> you went back to the phone, trying to not give, give him any more, any more attention. So, how did it go? What? 
You can't play on your phone. Don't play dumb. Come on, tell me. I don't know what do you mean. Mr. Stone, I was talking about him. Mr. Stone, who? Mr. Parker. Now you can't focus because of what he said. What do you mean? I saw you talking with him earlier, and I overheard him asking you out for a date. No, that's not a date. He only asked me to go with him. Sure, buddy. But I wonder if you'll go. Why do you say that? No reason. <laughs> right. On well, the way to school, I saw someone wearing a blue... What is it called again? A tank top? Yeah. What about someone wearing a blue tank top? I remember you seeing you talking to him on the first day at school. Oh, yeah, that was scary. I accidentally bumped into him. I thought he'd kill me right there. Turns out he's a gentle person. Sometimes. Yeah, anyway, I'm curious about him. So I went to his place. At least I thought that was his house. Turns out, he's homeless. Really? He told me he just camped there. But then again, I was wondering about that too. And I didn't want to assume anything. No one camps in the middle, no. No one camps in the middle, no, behind someone's private property, Henry. I don't know if you're just dumb or... Uh, I don't know, you're just too naive. I guess you're right. I'm always right. And you know, I saw something a tad interesting in his tent. What is it? It's, uh, going to do the restroom and coffee and donuts. Nature's calling. He stood up and exited the classroom in a rush. But don't you have to tell the teacher if you're, like, leaving the class? Wait, tell me! You can't leave me hanging like that! I'll die curious if you do that! Ah! A tent full of bad dragon toys. Mark went back from the restroom right before the class started. He rested his seat before Mr. Parker started the session. Ah, better. Please tell me you what you meant earlier. Ah, you came when we started the session, Mr. Thornton. That's good. Thornton? That sounds familiar. I'm a good student, Mr. Stone. What do you mean? This guy. Also, we're in class right now, Henry. Pay attention. He opened his book and started listening to the lecture. Fine. He listened to Mr. Parker's lecture on prose poem. Nice. Mr. Parker ended the session. Before he left the room, he smiled at you. When he left the room, Mark got up and stretched his upper body. Hmm. So, are you going to your cafeteria date with Mr. Parker? Or maybe you will go to another date? I will decide later. I'm still mad. Either way, I'll be in the playground. Hit me up if you want me to play with you. <laughs> Wording. I'll catch you later. He walked away before you could say anything. He seemed to do that often, you said to yourself. He walked out of the classroom, heading to the hallway. I'm feeling hungry. Should I stop by the cafeteria? Yeah, I think I should. When you were on your way to the cafeteria, you randomly remembered about Lars. Now I see what he meant about that. Damn it, Mark! You checked your phone to see the time. It seemed like you can only visit one of them at a time. But I don't know where the park is. You opened the map on your phone, looking for the location of the park. I might as well look for the playground while I'm at it. It didn't take long for you to find these places. Not that, not what you were expecting, actually. <sighs> now I have to decide where I want to go. Hmm, decisions, decisions. Starting today, you might have a chance to explore the place in certain days. How you spend your time will affect later choices, so, sp you, so you spend your time wisely. Some events may be longer than others, and it may change the accessible locations. Ooh. Sometimes you'll be able to stay at home until evening. If you're feeling lazy, feel free to do so. Note that there are instances when you won't be able to roll back sometimes, so make sure you save your file before proceeding. Good to know. Cafeteria, park, playground, home. Hmm. That's pretty cool. Guys, it's an open world game. It's an open world visual novel. <laughs> Quick, let's climb on top of a tower and reveal some locations of interest. God, this guy's so beefy, he'd probably bend the tower. Anyway. Go to the park. I already told Lars I'll see him later. It'd be rude if I didn't show up. You decided to go to the park. You strolled around the park, looking for Lars. There were lots of people around here. Kids playing on the ground, couples walking hand in hand, and even singles, for example, you. After walking for a while, you saw Lars sitting beneath the tree, staying cool in the shade. He looked rugged, probably just finished doing some volunteer work. <laughs> his eyes were closed. His bre he was breathing slowly, looking relaxed. Some leaves fell onto his clothes. You couldn't help but think that he kind of looked like a stray cat. He always looks so tired every time I see him. You approached him and called his name. Lars? He didn't hear it, so he called his name louder. Hey, Lars! Hmm? Oh, I'm up! <laughs> Ugh. Uh, it's you. What are you doing here? 
I told you I'd come to the park, didn't I? Oh, yeah, you did. My turn to ask, what are you doing here? Me? I was just doing some volunteer work. We finished, so I was taking a break. Stayed in the shade, trying not to overheat. Yeah, I know it's not even summer, but it's too hot after cleaning almost the whole park. Also, you're covered in fur. That might, that, that might be a little little bad for you if you're in the heat. I see. I certainly, I certainly understand you on that part. What kind of volunteer work did you do? Cleaning the park, picking up trash, plastic leaves, and such. Ah, you did great! The park is really clean! Heh, <laughs> thanks. Why are you doing volunteer work anyway? I... Suddenly his ears dropped. He frowned and didn't say anything after that. He felt bad for asking that. You, you don't have to answer if you don't want to. Okay. Hmm. How was school? It was alright. I had English today and headed out as soon as it ended. English, cl English class, huh? Yep. Who's your English professor? Mr. Pr I mean, Mr. Stone, do you know him? Ah, I'm just curious, that's all. Anyway, do you want to come over later? Oh, to your place? Yes. Sure thing, I kind of like that place. <laughs> that's good to know. Oh yeah, there's something... He stopped halfway when he saw someone walking toward the both of you. Give me a moment, okay? Take your time. He approached that old man, and you heard them talking in the distance. It wasn't exactly clear, but you still could hear their conversation just fine. It still wasn't exactly clear, but you could hear their conversation? Okay, apparently it is clear. <sighs> yeah, we finished cleaning. Everyone has already left. Oh, well, it's time, so I stayed in the park to rest up for a bit. Ah, I see. Thank you for your hard work, Lars. Here's your payment for today. Ah, you don't have to do that, really. It's volunteer work. I did that because I wanted to. Yeah, the same goes for me. Really? That's fine. Just take it, Lars. You're part of a high well. We can't just ignore you. But I said it's fine. They can't just ignore him. What does that mean? The old man kept insisting Lars accept the money. Eventually, Lars agreed to take it. <laughs> if you insist, thank you very much. Good, and it's no problem. I'm here to tell you something, too. What is it? <laughs> Decided not to listen anymore. You walked into the tree, sat down, and played on your phone. The old man's still talking with Lars. He looked at Lars. For some reason, he seemed really down. I wonder what's happening over there. He doesn't look too good. Maybe you shouldn't have stopped listening. You kept playing on your phone and tried not to pry for now. I'll ask him when the, I'll ask him when the time's right. I don't want to make the situation worse. For now, let's play this new vocal droid, vocal droid game until he's finished talking. Vo really vocal droid, not vocaloid? Really? Ha. <laughs> ah. Uh, ah! I can't understand the interface! It's all a language that I can't understand! What to, what to do? What to do? I am confused. <laughs> I am confusion. You kept complaining, but you still played the whole game. You looked at Lars still. You looked at Lars still talking with the old man. They sure were taking their time. I'll just keep playing this game. As you started the song you wanted to play, Lars walked towards you. He sat down, then looked at you meekly without saying anything. What ha? He hugged you suddenly. Your phone fell out of your hands. Ah, my phone. But what's up with him? That's something he certainly wouldn't do. You're going to pat his back, but he got back up. So, sorry about that. Oh, it's no problem. What happened, if you don't mind telling me? I'd rather not talk about it right now. I'm going back. Do you still want to come with me? Go with him, yeah, sure. Yeah, let's go, but where are we going? It's my place, of course. And you're going to help me clean up my stuff. What? Why? Heh, <laughs> don't ask why, and it's too late to back up now. Now that's a good expression. He patted your head, then he got up, walking to the walking to the distance. It seemed like his mood was getting better. I'm glad he's feeling better now. At least I'd like to believe so. You grabbed your phone, got up and ran after him before he walked too far. Wait for me! <laughs> Welcome to my den. Cozy den. I know, but we must clean this place up. So, it looks like the same. What are we cleaning? Everything. I'm leaving this place. Why are you leaving? Where are you going? You don't have to tell me, and I won't force you, but I'm willing to listen to you if you need to rant. Alright. Wait, why are we cleaning this place if you're supposed to leave? There's no way I'm leaving my items behind. He went inside the tent to put everything inside. Sleeping bags, water bottles, dirty clothes, whatsoever. Fair point. He got out of the tent and started undoing the tent. How long have you been staying here? Not that long. Less than a year? I don't remember, honestly. He sat down on the ground while Lars kept undoing the tent. I see. He looked at him, sort of sweaty, you thought. Just looking at him made you hungry for some reason. Oh, God. 
what am I thinking? So, how about food? I uh, sometimes go to eat near Publix, or if I'm feeling adventurous, which is almost all the time, I go outside the fort to forge. To forge. Forge, yes. He's a roving, he's a roaming blacksmith. <laughs> I go outside to forage. You know, like wild plants and flowers. There are a lot of edible foods out there, if you know what you're looking at. Uh, you can eat flowers? Some, yeah. How about these tomatoes near here? Tomatoes? What tomatoes? I don't remember going growing tomatoes here. You showed him these tomatoes growing near where you were where you where you were sitting on. It looks plump and juicy. Like your dick. No, stop it. Evil thoughts. Naughty evil thoughts. All right, guys. There we go. That is a new episode of After Class. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell, and leave a and leave a super thanks if you can. It always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.